Check, check, test, one, two. Wow, okay, I'm set just a little bit high. Today, I have two lenses with me. On the R3, I have the 100. On the R3, I have Canon 600 f4 with a 1.4 extender on it, giving me 840 millimeters at f5.6. And I have the 200-800, so two different lenses. I came out to Han because I was going to shoot hummingbirds, but for whatever reason today, there just don't seem to be as many as normal. And you know what? That's okay. That is quite all right. I'm okay with that. I'm going to shoot whatever else is out here. I've seen the Oriole has been out here and the Scrub Jay. There's tons of the white crowns, squirrels of course, the finches with the, the males with their breeding red stuff. But one thing I want to share with you to start with, um, you've heard me say that I love the technology we're able to share all around the world. So Bill Green sent me a photo watching one of my videos and I, it looks like that's the one from uh, from one of the ones from Washington. So very cool. If, I, if this photo comes up, Bill, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Bill. I really do appreciate it. To everyone that's out there, I appreciate it like I can't tell you. There's a squirrel that's coming. It's gonna hop into my bag, which is sitting over there. And again, I'm gonna be shooting today. Uh, two different lenses. Uh, <laughs> this one is heavy. So let me show you a couple. How do I distinguish them when I get them into the computer? Oh, this hummingbird sitting up there, backlight. How do I distinguish them? Well, it's easy. I pull up their focal length. 800 is this one, there, there's no way around it. 840 is my F4. It is looking at my bag like crazy. So let me show you a couple of photos. And Bill, man, thank you. I appreciate it. Check these out. Okay, so now I have the 200-800 on here. I'm getting a couple of hummingbirds, not many, just a couple. Um, I'm not sure if I'm, if my video is sideways like this. Sorry about that, I'm doing my best. It's, uh, I'm perched on some bushes that are behind me over there. So I've got two cameras going. I have the GoPro, which is on a tracker, so that if I move, if I move, you move, and this one does not, it's on static. The squirrel is behind me. He really wants up on some of this stuff. The cool thing about this one is the shorter minimum focus distance other than my 600. That is a long, longer distance lens. As I, as I go through this, I'm gonna show you different photos. Of course, I can't get everything the same and the hummingbirds aren't out as thick as I thought they would be, but that's okay. I'm also gonna hit Malibu Lagoon. If the canyons are open, we've had rain and a lot of slides. This canyon's closed, this canyon's closed because rock slides, mud slides. Look at them. Let me know what you guys think down below of some of these photos. Is there a clarity difference between the two? The cool thing about this one is it is so light. As soon as I put it on here, it felt like I was playing with a toy. It's, it's a fantastic advantage. Easy to walk around with. Doesn't break your neck. I have some doves sitting right there. Let me grab those.
that squirrel was right up on top of me and I didn't even realize it. Holy moly. One thing um, about the R3, I love having the dual, the dual sensors. I think it, it's phenomenal. 24 megapixels, yes, I'm going back to my original. I wish this were bigger. I'm hoping that the R1 has a, uh, has a bigger sensor and has two of them. Or not two sensors, but, but uh, two processors. I really like that. I think that's a huge advantage, but having a larger sensor is as well. No setup is perfect, so you have to work with what you have. But this is a fantastic camera. I love the size of the body too. Like, like the, the Z9 or my old D800 with a big battery grip. Yeah, I could have put it on the R5. I just didn't want to spend the extra money for it. One thing I forgot to mention on this is my shutter speed on all of these is 4,000. The aperture on each of the lenses is as low as it can go. So on the 200-800, it's at 9. And 5.6 on the 600 f4 with the one for extender on there. Auto ISO on everything, and I'm watching... 4000 ISO on this one, you know, the ISO is going high, but I, I like it in auto. I do have my exposure compensation about 99.9% .9 of the time down at a negative three. If it's really bright and I'm shooting white birds, I will take it down to even a negative one to preserve some of those highlights that you lose that get blown out. I did get some hummingbirds. I'm gonna switch back. I'm still using the 200-800 right now. This is such a nice light lens. You can move around. If I move, you move. I'm gonna switch back to the 600 shortly because that doesn't fit in my little bag. This one does. All right, let's shoot some more stuff. position for being right here and yet my screen is at an angle so it is what it is I'm perched up in the bushes here what I will say is that the advantage in this particular space for today goes to the 200 to 800 after everything I've shot I missed so many shots of the little squirrel coming up next to me that minimum focus distance is a huge huge thing I'm watching a bird perch behind me it's huge it makes a big difference. So if you're out to have fun, having that minimum focus distance and the zoom advantage, 200 to 800 by far, hands down, most of the time. I've moved all over the place. I've had Orioles. I just want to sit out right over there.
right there. I wonder if I can get it backlit. Nope. They're fast. The other, the other advantage to having um, a zoom lens is you can zoom out to find your subject. I've gotten used to not doing that over the course of time, but I do miss a lot of shots. So it is what it is. I can't, I just enjoy being out. That's all I can say. And because I missed that shot, well, it means I'll have to try again next time. Johnny Pink, man, thank you. Thank you for letting me share with you guys. I really do appreciate it. I say it every single time, but I do. Hello. The little bees out here really don't bother me because they're not here for me. They're here for the flowers and I'm definitely don't smell like a flower. I don't look like one either. Thank you. You guys have a fantastic day. Please give it a thumbs up. I forget to say that too. That helps out the algorithm. Um, share it with somebody if you think it's kind of cool. At least give it a thumbs up. We'll see you guys. I'm, I'm so distracted by all the little critter, uh, critter. I am so distracted by all the little critters that are all over the place here. There's birds. And if I didn't, if this would fit in my bag, I would switch and just shoot the 200 to 800 because I'd be getting, I'd be filling one of my cards. Oh, and I'm back to shooting. I've gone back between shooting electronic and with the mechanical because I like the way it sounds. I like the way it feels. I like to know what I'm shooting. Have a fantastic day. Thanks, man. Give it a thumbs up. We'll see ya. Oh yeah, I forgot the GoPro is kind of tracking me. I forgot all about that. That's kind of cool. And yeah, I've gone back to the 200-800. It really is a pretty awesome lens on this camera body. The versatility, I finally, finally, finally got the Oriel with this lens. That's it, man. Johnny Pink, thank you. Give it a thumbs up. We'll see you.